Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to go through some troubleshooting steps on the Cinda 2.4 G wireless mouse um, if it's not connecting to your laptop or computer. Um, and I'll go through each of these uh, possible solutions step by step. Um, and this one here, uh, the one that I have is the mint green color, but this mouse does come in multiple different colors. Um, before we begin, I wanted to let you know that I do have other videos on the Cinda 2.4G wireless mouse, and I'll link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video, and if you're interested and have time, please check that playlist out. Okay, um, so the first thing I'm going to show you has to do with the USB uh, wireless nano receiver here. Let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so the first thing that we can try is to remove the USB wireless nano receiver from its current USB port um, and plug it into a different USB port. Then you can test the mouse out and see if it works. And if it does, that's great. And it would give you some idea that something might be going on with the other USB port. If that doesn't fix the problem, we're going to move on to the next possible solution. Okay, so the next thing that we can take a look at is to make sure that the battery is installed the correct direction. But before we do this, uh, this is the laser light here where the laser light comes out of. So you wanna make sure that the laser light is not pointed at you and that it's not pointed at anybody else. So I have it held at an angle here, the mouse held at an angle, so the laser light is not pointed at me and it's not pointed at anybody else. And then I'm gently going to push down right here and then just slide downwards until the battery compartment door comes off like so. And I'll just set that to the side for now. And then you just wanna make sure that the battery is installed the correct direction. And if the battery is installed the correct direction, the next thing that you can try is to replace the battery with a brand new battery. There's a possibility that the battery that's installed may not have enough power and may be too weak and not able to communicate with the USB wireless nano receiver properly. And I do have a video where I show you how to change the battery on this mouse, and I'll link that video in the playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time, please check that playlist out. Okay, so here's what it looks like underneath the battery, and you can see uh, that it tells us up here that it's a AA battery, and that the minus sign goes at the top, and then you can see the plus sign down here at the bottom, um, and that the battery needs to be 1.5 volts. So if you do have your battery installed the correct direction and you try a brand new AA battery and neither of those things fixes the issue, I'm going to show you the next thing that you can try. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show you is we're going to try to recode the mouse. We're going to try to uh, repair the mouse with the wireless USB nano receiver. And to do this, the first thing that we need to do is to remove the wireless USB nano receiver from the laptop or computer. I've removed mine here and I'm just going to set it off to the side for now. And then we need to press the left button on the mouse, the right button on the mouse, and the scroll wheel button on the mouse all at the same time. And when we do that, we should see the mouse turn on. We should see the red light shining through the top of the mouse. Um, and once that happens, we're going to re-plug in the wireless USB nano receiver into the laptop or computer. Um, and that will give the mouse here a chance to repair with the wireless USB nano receiver. Okay, so I'm going to press all three of those buttons at the same time here. And when we do that, uh, the first time nothing happened. Uh, the second time the red light turned on there. So now I'm going to uh, re-plug in the wireless USB nano receiver like so. Um, and then that gives the mouse a chance to uh, try to repair or try to pair with the wireless USB nano receiver. And then we can test it out and see if it works. So I hope that one of these troubleshooting steps was able to help you out. And thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have other videos on the Cinda 2.4G wireless mouse. And I'll link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and you have time, please check that playlist out. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.
Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.